Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our service tonight. We have a, a good group, a whole uh, studio full of people tonight. And so, so we will find us a mic yeah. and get started. So that's, uh, these mics are pretty handy sometimes. So we, <laughs> we try to remember to use them. Well, all right. Now we want to again welcome you into the service. We're uh, getting off to a wobbling start, but that probably means we're going to have a good service because we're here for we're here on on a reason for a purpose. We've got a, there there is a goal that we want to reach, and that is to see people hear about the Lord and let it change their hearts. Because you know we're only going through this life once, and we must make each opportunity we have to be our best because we can't go back and redo it. Amen. But tonight we want to welcome all of you to stay with us now because uh, we're going to be talking and singing about the Lord's mercies, His mercies. It's uh, Psalms 103. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His name. You've heard people say, Oh, they did it with all of their heart. Well, that's what it's a saying here. With all of our heart, we're to praise His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of His benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities and who healeth all thy diseases. That's what we want to dwell on tonight, is who forgives our sins and heals all of our diseases. You know, this to me, this is the most wonderful a uh, passage of scripture here telling everything that we'll ever need or you or our grandkids or anybody else will ever need is to have our sins forgiven and to be healed of the diseases. <laughs> who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Amen. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Many times we even become oppressed by the enemy and, the, and his workers, but I want us to think tonight now, is our sins forgiven, our iniquities? And if not, then he can do that and he will. That's what he, he this is the benefits of serving God. You know, you sometimes you, uh, you hear about uh, Fringe benefits, well, we have the best benefits, and that is having the Lord's mercy with us. And that's so tonight we're going to be focusing in on what your needs are. If you need to call, please call <coughs> early so that we can get them in. But we need to hear, and we have a real praise report um, uh, upstairs on the phones tonight. Yeah. We have a real praise report. God has really uh, touched Dottie and undertaken for her. And so that's his mercy. Yeah, come on, and so man. tonight we want to see more of that happen. We yeah. want you to open up your heart to the Lord and drive back the forces of the enemy that come your way. So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your mercies. We thank you that that they are good even to her uh, uh, Many, many generations, your mercies are still good and that they will be there for our family, our uh, loved ones, the ones that we want to know that makes it to heaven. And so tonight, Lord, you, only you know who have their hearts open to you. 
Only you know who needs to be forgiven. You know the ones that needs to be healed. Of some, there's many kinds of diseases. There's many uh, diseases that need to be healed. And so, whatever it is, Lord, we just want to uh, join with them already to bring them to you and expect. And we know that you. Hear and answer prayer, and we thank you for that. Bless this group that has come tonight. Thank you for the miracles that you've done in all of their lives to bring bring them back tonight to sing. So continue to bless them, our phone operators, and Lord, let this be a good night in your name. Amen. All right, tonight we're happy to have the Glory Land Baptist from Berea, and that phone number is 859-624-3023. And so right now, they, uh, we are blessed tonight. They have, many have recovered that was going through surgeries and so forth. They're all back here looking fine tonight. So they're going to do some good singing. So let's welcome them right now. You know, need a mic. All right. Praise the Lord. I guess mine ain't a working, but that's okay. I, they didn't think I needed a mic. No way. But one thing about it, you hear me tonight. Uh, uh, you know, God bless America. If you're out there tonight and you don't, hey, 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 you don't understand what's going on, uh, just like that little sister, Sister Margaret here in Lee County. Uh, oh, glory to God that wanted forgiveness. Uh, and listen to me tonight. Uh, uh, the only one that can forgive you is the good Lord above. His name is Jesus. Uh, he's the son of the living God. Uh, and you know what? He, when he said he'd pour out his spirit on all flesh, uh, uh, your sons and daughters would prophesy. Glory to God. Listen to what he's saying tonight and I I better give you the I, I, I'm preaching but anyway <laughs> if you're out there if you're out there and you hear the Lord speaking to you tonight and you're 
Savior. Let's pray for America and what's going on today. There's little children being destroyed. Hey, if you know somebody tonight that needs a healing, I'm going to say to Angie and Gloria, they need a healing. Yes. And, and I believe by the word of God, everybody loves them. So, uh, hey, you know, show that love uh, and know and get in the word. And when he said that, I'm still preaching. Hey, uh, uh, Gloria, you got to sing that song for Carl. Carl, Sister Mark, Carl. Yes. I hear the sound of a mighty rushing wind, and it's closer now than it's ever been. I can almost hear the trumpet as Gabriel sounds the call. At the midnight cry, we'll be going home. Yes. When Jesus steps out oh, yeah. on a cloud to call his children, the dead in Christ shall rise to meet him in the Those who remain will be quickly changed. At the midnight cry, we'll be going home. When Jesus steps out on a cloud to call his children, the dead in Christ shall rise to meet him in the air. And then those who remain will be quickly changed. At the midnight cry, we'll be going home. I know the parable of the ten virgins uh, yes, and five Lord. of them, uh, hey, they're all run down uh, and five of them had oil. Uh, but Amen. one thing about it, honey, uh, I believe uh, oh, we're in that day. Uh, oh, you can, uh, hey, somebody said, uh, man, that's a terrible, no, this, this is a time that we need to seek God more than we ever have. We need to trust in Him uh, and glory to God. And you and Larry, we're going to send you out a song. That Hey, there's many people used to be right here. They're not here. Some of them's in heaven. Uh, my sister Oma, she's, she's in the terrace, uh, a nursing home, and a lot of people out there. And we'll remember your mom in, in the terrace nursing home. Beulah, we're going to send you guys out a song. Uh, and you know, Velber and Wilma, they used to be here and many others. Uh, a lot of them's gone on, but one thing about it, honey, you hear me tonight. Uh, we need to be ready for this thing. Amen? Amen. Oh, glory to God. Uh, as I told the little sister, from Lee County a while ago. You know what we need to do uh, uh, to get forgiveness? You can't forgive me. I can't forgive me. Uh, but there's a spirit tonight uh, uh, that is pouring out on all flesh. Uh, uh, glory to God. I feel that spirit and I know yes. it's real. Amen. Uh, They'll be shouting on the hills of oh, yeah, let's... Shouting on the hills.
They may, I'll tell you what, if you're out there tonight, and you know what? We can't, we can take and bring the Bible and prayer into the jails, most everywhere, but not in school. Mm-hmm. You know, we're praying tonight. Maybe we're praying for you and your little son and the one to be born, that it'll be okay. You know, I'm a sin. You know, last week, two people was healed of cancer. They called up and said, hey, Hey, I, I, I'm cancer free. And you know, listen to me. If he can do it for one, he can do it yeah. for nothing, Gary. I mean, he's still that big God. Amen. He's a God that said, you ask, you shall receive. I'm not going to preach long. I'm just talking fast because somebody out there needs a blessing from God. Amen. So I called somebody by the word, and Sister Margaret was reading a while ago, by the word of God, Psalm 37, 1 said, trust in God, trust in Him, and delight in what he's doing. You know what? If he can do it for one, and you know somebody said as, as Roger was talking about leprosy coming to the country as it was then. Honey, there's more diseases out there. But one thing about it, I, I've got a God that can cure them all. You read it, sister. He can cure it all. And I can feel that curing spirit right now because that spirit is alive. How many believe that spirit is alive? Yeah. Okay, oh, it's not it's it. Go, oh, come on, guys. All diseases, he's still alive. He can heal all diseases, cause he's still oh, alive. I believe he's alive. He can heal all diseases, he's still alive. I feel him in my head. Oh, we feel him. I feel him in my feet. I feel him all over me. How come? But God's not dead. Oh, I 
talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our pain and cry. He will answer by and by. And when you feel a little prayer will turn it. And you know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Jesus on the main. Well, let him be on your main life. Say, Jesus, I, I need a healing. You know, what, what if you could? You know, everybody's on that Facebook. Eh? You, you know that. And, but you know what? There's a lot of good things going on on there. There's a lot of people asking for prayer. And you know what, folks? This right here, you hear me? Support this station because there's a, hey, hey, <laughs> there's a lot of souls led to the Lord that nobody don't know about. But that's okay. God knows. Amen. Amen. He knows what's going on. Amen. And you know, We've been leading them to the Lord in funerals and everywhere else. But one thing about it, hey, the devil tries. He knows time's short. Yes. Amen? The Bible said he does. Oh, but God saints, you hear me. I feel that anointing tonight. I'm going across that airway. And you listen. Uh, uh, hey, hey, wait, call somebody up at sick. Call somebody up. It's got, okay. I see them. They look like ants today running around that hospital when I was in there. And I don't know if they know what they're doing or not. But one thing about it, I pray they do. Amen. If they have to take my for everything, anything out, I want to know what they're doing. Yes. Hey, I'll get a hold of them by the arm and I'll say, hey, hey, well, we need to talk about this. Uh, and we're going to pray. Amen. Amen. Because, folks, it's coming to a time that we don't even understand what's going on. But, honey, listen to me. Hey, Jesus knows what's going on. He's standing there with open arms. He's saying, come unto me, all ye that labor and the heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Uh, I, I feel that rest of coming. He said, hey, hey, trust in him. Delight in what he's doing. Commit yourselves to him in the book of Psalms 37 and rest in his spirit. You know the only way you can rest is, is to be content yeah. in what God is doing with us. Yeah. What little he gives you, do it with all your might. You know, <laughs> if it's picking up papers out of the floor, do it with all your might. And he'll keep blessing you. And so, hey, pretty soon you, you'll be able to sing his song. I am blessed. I am blessed every day that I live. I am blessed. How many wants that blessing tonight? When I wake up in the morning till I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. Hallelujah! I am blessed. To the sunshine and rain in my 
about it just a minute. You know, the young people growing up, Sister Margaret, I, I don't believe they're really understanding what's going on. Uh, but one thing about it, uh, I, you know, listen, listen, listen to what God is saying. He said, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. There was nothing that wasn't done without Him. And you know what? We're trying to find little gods everywhere, honey. I don't want one of them little gods in my life. I, no. I want that spirit. I, yeah. I, somebody's feeling that spirit tonight. I want that spirit, uh, uh, that Holy Ghost spirit, uh, to come in uh, and dwell with us uh, and cleanse this temple out. Amen. Amen. Uh, I, uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Uh, we went in, I think it's Matthew 4, wasn't it, uh, uh, where lunatics come to him and everything, and he healed them. Uh, and and the, there's no difference today and the day. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. And I believe he can still do that. Uh, I've seen Sister Margaret heal. God's going to heal her knee. I, I, hey, yes. I can prosify because, hey, we need to prosify today that God can. He's able. He's just. How many is with me? He's healed you and he's going to keep on healing you. Glory to God. The devil tries to take these people out. Oh, but I got news for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's always there for us. I feel that. Go. Everybody will be happy. Will be happy over there. We will 
people today and you know I believe if you got the Lord in your heart Raj I believe uh, there's some contentment in there if there's not let's grow a little bit in his grace yes. and look to him as the author and the finisher of our faith knowing he's always there all I know is what the Bible said I'm going to trust in him tonight for my children I'm going to trust him for little two year old Leo uh, uh, I give him back to the Lord uh, and I claim that in the name of Jesus uh, all my grandchildren, children, if you got children, there's so many people out there hurting tonight. If you're hurting, call in. This little lady said, now, she called me today and said, I got a lot of issues, preacher. I said, well, we'll bring you to the Lord, send you out a song. She said, no, 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 don't do that. She said, because of my children might get mad at me. I don't care if every one of my kids get mad at me. Right. I don't care if my grandchildren ever speak to me. I'm going to say, God loves you. He'll heal you. He'll be there Amen. for you. Yes. And old grandpa and dad, honey, going to praise God and shout victory to Jesus hallelujah. because he's still alive. Yes. Woo! Hallelujah. I'm losing it, I think. I, maybe I'm too old for this, reckon. <laughs> God is still on the throne. How many believe? Amen. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me.
I believe he's Lord. I believe he's Lord. Uh, he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Sing a song, Kathy. Everybody wanted to hear that song tonight. Your favorite song. Well, I'm going home to Jesus in the twinkling of an eye. I break my reservation for a mansion in the sky. Well, it may not be the moment and it may not be the day, but I know that folk that have really been enjoying the music tonight and these are good old songs that will uh, give you something to think about and as you re-sing them well that'll be great. Gloria Land Baptist from Berea tonight. Uh, their phone number is 8592 or rather it's 859-624-3023 and uh, we have a number of prayer requests that is in. We, we have an email that has come in today from uh, um, Arlington, Texas, and this is what it says. Pray for my mother, Midge. She's about to make her journey to heaven to be reunited with her husband, Philip, and all those that have already ascended before her. We ask for prayers for her to have a peaceful transition from this world to the kingdom oh, of yes, heaven. Oh, yes, yes. So this daughter is releasing her mom to go be with the Lord from Arlington, Texas. Amen. Amen. And so let's remember that uh, that uh, request tonight. And uh, we have lots of uh, folk that uh, uh, all kinds of sickness, anything you can think of is uh, about in here tonight and uh, accidents and, and all sorts of things. But here's, uh, here's one that uh, um, a man has called and said that uh, that he got saved last, but last week, but then he felt like he had left the Lord because he had done something and he needed to be forgiven again. Amen. So this goes along with what you had to say. 
Yeah, you know, you know, God is a forgiving God, Sister yes, Margaret. He is. I, I mean, He's the only one, folks, can forgive us out there. I mean, we can't, you know, people, people's trusting in what they can see, but there's something out there that you can't see. But you, hey, I, I believe, uh, you know, if you don't feel God, go by faith. Amen. I, I believe we walk by faith and know how real He is and how alive He is, because He's a God that'll always be there, Sister Margaret. I got something here. All right. You know, right here is uh, now. Don't you hear this, Randy from Mount Sterling? Uh, pray for his family to come back together. And he, he gave his heart to the Amen. Lord. Amen. And, and I feel that to that uh, because, and here, here's another one. Uh, Roy from Richmond, he, he's lost loved ones. And Sister Margaret, he, he wants to give his heart back to God. You know, uh, rededication. There's more out there that want to rededicate. Oh, you know what? Yes. Uh, when you get, just like that brother there got saved, and, and you know, you may have stumbled your foot or whatever you've done to say, Lord, forgive me. Let, help me not do it no more. Amen. That be I, I believe you need to uh, do your first works over, but I do them over every day. Lord, forgive me. Have mercy upon me. And, and, <laughs> and, and that thing went boom, didn't it? That's okay, though. Hey, it'll be all right. <laughs> and, and you know, here, right here's one now. This one I was telling you about, Sister Margaret Phyllis uh, from Lee County wanted that forgiveness. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you know, she said, what can I do? And she's asking me, you know what, folks? There's no way I do a lot, a lot of uh, funerals, uh, but there's no way I can preach anybody in to hell or heaven. Mm -mm. I've got a just God and a powerful God, Brother Doc. I've yeah. got a God right now, honey. Yes. He's pleased with us tonight. Yes. Uh, because, hey, hey, this is His place. Yes. And we're just, we're just little people sitting around here, but praise God for it. That He uses us. Uh, and, and, you know, here's Chad from uh, Danville. Uh, and, you know, he needs a healing. And, and he, he rededicated his life to the Lord. Because that's what we're needing today. We're, oh, go ahead yes. there, Sister Martin. I'm well, running away. These, I'm, I'm just these like, are just so many different uh, things that people need. It's a lot of physical, a lot of emotional, and a lot of sin problems. And so... Uh, since there's so many, we're just going to have to kind of uh, group them together. And That's fine. God knows, don't why we? He does, and He heard that call, when, but He knew before they called. So, yeah, yeah. So, so there's a lot of different needs there, and that's uh, that scripture we had. He heals all. He forgives all of our sins. Yeah, and he come on. All of yeah, our diseases. So what more could we want? Yeah, I, I love to be in the presence of God. Oh, when we yeah. come here at WLJC, everybody's one mind, one accord. And, and you know, if God is in it, you ain't going to mess up. Yeah. If He's anointing you to bring the Word, and, and there's healing in that Word. Yes, it's a is. call for the yeah. elders. No, we, we prayed for little Magdalene back there. Mm -hmm. She's getting ready to have a little baby. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what, folks? There's little babies out there that need our prayers oh, right yes. now. Yes. And, and grandmas that really need them worse than yes. that. Because, yes. listen to me, the world is coming in on Sister Margaret. Yeah. Uh, but now, uh, my kids would know better. They, they would actually know better. I mean, if I was, uh, you know, older than 40, which I am now, you know, they would know better and come in on me, Brother Don. <laughs> uh, somebody said, I know that cowboy preacher. I, won't, I wouldn't harm a soul, but don't come in. Mm -hmm. uh, don't come in on my turf, right, Sister Margaret, and think you're right. somebody. You'll get off my turf. Mm -hmm. But God knows yeah. what's going on tonight. Yes, and and, and, and every, I, I get calls, folks, you wouldn't believe from every county, and people crying out because, you know, they've got some age on them, like you probably, got some age on you. And, and you know, hey, what happens, the grandchildren come in and, and take their checks. And mm -hmm. This thing, I mean, it needs to be yes. proclaimed. Yes. And we need to pray against it. Yes, 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 this, uh, yes. I mean, the kids are not, they're not caring today. But one thing about it, hey, when he says this, he's going to pour his spirit out on all flesh, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Hey, he ain't talking about prophesying of drugs or alcohol or whatever's going on out there. He's prophesying of Jesus coming. Like that song mm -hmm. we sang. When he, uh, and we didn't get a song sung, but we'll sing it, Loretta, when Jesus mm -hmm. steps out. And you know, he, he's going to step out, folks. Yes, he he's is. not going to... He said we might... Uh, uh, hey, apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah, but I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I'm not a gloom, doom preacher. I, somebody said, boy, we're in trouble. We're in tr hey, knock it off. Just get a hold of Jesus. Let Him put His arms around you and give you the rest you need. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes, and I thank yes. God that this station, Sister Margaret, is still going on and doing what God wants it to do. Amen. Yeah. You got something to say? Go ahead. Go ahead, Tony. Yeah. Um, we've uh, started a Celebrate Recovery. That's for anybody with a hurt habit or hang up at Church on the Rock on Thursdays at 6 o'clock. I want to tell you this story, uh, Sister Margaret. I've been thinking about it since you were talking about that couple up in Minnesota. I uh, ran into uh, an individual. It's one of our state reps for Celebrate Recovery. His name is Chris. And he, um, he said that he, used, he recovered by listening to WLJC. Amen. Oh. Come on. To, to, uh, That's good. To Cecil. Yeah. 
and uh, and so now he's one of our, our state reps. He's been clean for a long time, and, mm -hmm. and praise the Lord for that. And I, I tell everybody, if you don't know uh, where a Celebrate Recovery is, we have a, an app that you can download on your phone, and you can yeah, find come a on. Celebrate Recovery anywhere in the world. If you're out there hurting, or if mm -hmm. you have a, a habit, or if you have a hang-up, yeah. uh, uh, there's people out there that can, that can help you. Yes, Lord. It, that's good. Yeah. Uh, you know, you like to hear stuff like that, Sister Margaret. Yes, it is. But it, it gives you, it, it gives you uh, encouragement uh, and, and builds to your faith. Amen. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, Betty from Perry County, uh, physical needs. Uh, Charlie and Pamela from Manchester both needs need. And then we have uh, Faye from Madison County, praise report. Uh, pray for a grandbaby has been... Uh, being born tomorrow, but it's early. Yeah. And, and then uh, Faye has been on a vent for three weeks. Praise God. She's alive. And Praise home. God. Hallelujah. Okay. That's what we're talking about. Brenda from Pike and Phyllis from Pike. And so uh, just a lot of needs. And yes, you know, mighty God. That's why that we we don't have to tell the Lord every little uh, ailment Come on, or sis. disease we've got because... You know, he knows everything about us. Yeah. And he knows what we're thinking, what we're going to talk about. Amen. He knows what's in our heart. Yeah. That's what. And so it's, we're, the more, the more we learn about God, the more wonderful we find Come on. out yeah. he is. Amen. And how little that we actually yeah. know about <laughs> That's God. That's right. Because you know, Sister Mary, I've been at 37 years preaching the word uh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I know very little. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. As, hey, hey, I'm learning though. Mm -hmm. You know, when I, when I get up in my fifties, I'll really be smart, brother dog. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody said, "How old are you?" Well, I'm old enough. You know, <laughs> probably too old. But one thing about it, God is good, and He'll yes, be here sir. for you. Let's yes. now now put your hands this way, everybody yes, out there. Yes. There's people going to be healed here oh, because yes. we've anointed with oil, and the Word of God is real and alive. Yes, and, and we're praying for you guys. I mean, to keep this station going, keep the Spirit of moving, fathers. We come in Your mighty loving name. I feel Your power and Your love. Oh, Lord, we love You tonight. Forgive us all, Father. I feel that clean Spirit moving through this station, through that airway. Because no matter what we've done, you're always there. And Lord, help us uh, walk down that narrow straight path. Uh, I know, Lord, it's hard, but you're always there. Uh, just one little whisper away. It may not be in a hurricane. It may not be in shouting uh, or something like that, but it's in that small, still voice uh, that you're speaking to us and saying it's going to be okay. We love you now, Lord, and we trust in you for this night. We praise your holy name, and we'll never fail to praise you. In Jesus' loving name, amen. Amen. Very good, very good. So, uh, um, all right, uh, to is it Tony? Tony, yes. Okay. Tony. Tony. Okay, you want to give us that phone number again for him to get in touch with it? That sure. recovery? Sure, it's 859-661-2100. Uh, uh, again, that's 859-661-2134. And I was thinking... The, uh, there was an individual uh, from Danville that got saved mm -hmm, tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, we, on Monday nights at, at uh, Indian Hills, a Christian church in Danville Good. next to the bowling alley. He can go there uh, at 6 o'clock. Uh, and uh, one of the things I like about these Celebrate Recoveries is you, you get fed. Amen. Uh, food That's and right. spiritually. That's right. Where are you from? You ain't from Kentucky. <laughs> you never did tell me where you're from. Uh, Nancy. Ohio. Nancy. Oh, Nancy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, this thing is real. But there's people out there hurting. Oh, I, yes. I mean, yeah. Sister Margaret, I seen one the other day right out in the middle of the road uh, having him a fit. Oh. And I rolled my window down. I, I wanted to pray for him. They done had him in handcuffs. And, and folks, that reminded me of, you know, Jesus uh, went amongst the people mm -hmm. and, and healed the lunatics. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, this, this, uh, this addiction stuff, that too yes, much medicine yes. is killing people. Go ahead. Yes, uh, well, we know of... Uh, Family that uh, lost a loved one. Just uh, his funeral was Saturday. Yeah, he'd been, off, he'd been free for uh, drug free for four years. He'd just gotten married, and he seemed to be real happy. Mm -hmm. No one understands why. He went back and got on drugs and dropped dead. Lord, Lord, yes, and so Lord. So his his all of his family is so heartbroken, and you can understand why. So that's why we encourage people get yeah. help, get help. Yeah, and some people 
can go to the Lord and be delivered right then, but some have to have yeah. have steps. Yeah. And uh, they have to recover. They have to have mm -hmm. help and encouragement along the way. So I, I'm fully for that. Well, just like his station, a big brother or sister to the people. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. get in trouble, they can call here. Somebody answer. Yes. Yes. You know, they can call a preacher. Many preachers here, they can call a, and get a big brother to, to help them mm -hmm. along the way. You know, I've, yeah. ta I've talked AA meetings in Arizona and Flagstaff, Arizona, and, and a lot of places. But we need a big brother. We need somebody to call on. Yeah. Right. And to, to, to we really get that spirit of moving. And, and the, like that little lady was today that got saved in Lee County here. You know, uh, God is a forgiving God. Yes, he and is. nobody can ever tell me He won't forgive you and help you if you call on Him with a pure heart. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, when we're hurting so bad, you know, we got nowhere to turn to. But a lot of people, like Sister Mar said, need someone to talk to. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And so we encourage that. And the Lord's not willing that any, any That's right. should perish. That's good. And so that means, regardless of what you've done, He, he doesn't hold it against you. He Amen. He forgive you and set you free and, and that you can meet Him in peace. Amen. That is, a, that is the greatest thing. All right. Looks like we are out of time. So once again, thanks to Glory Land Baptist for being here tonight and uh, all the folks that have called. And I'm sure God... Answered prayer. So yes, Lord. Start looking, start looking for an answer. Yeah, yeah. In the morning. That's a key. Or before you go to bed tonight, mm -hmm. start checking for a change already. All right. From all of us, we must say good night and, and God, God bless. bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.